Hello and welcome to the Daily Guidance for Wednesday. Today is August 10th, 2022, and we're going to uh, see what message we have for today. There's actually an announcement that I have. I was recently invited to join someone on their podcast, which is live. And usually when I get these kind of offers, I will turn it down. Okay. Number one, like live. Live is very, for me, when it comes to my energy, it creates a lot of um, imbalances because I can pick up on people's energies. So if I'm doing any kind of message, especially if it's a tarot read, live is very, um, I guess it's, it, it creates a lot of huh, energies that come through and I can't really settle one energy without another one coming and then another one and another one. So it, it becomes very imbalancing, like up and down and like, oh, wow. So I don't like doing live when it comes to readings. But this person, he, he has a podcast and he invited me and I actually said yes. So on the 24th of August, I'm going to be live, joining someone live, and we'll see how that goes, okay? And I'll give you all, all the information on that. So we're in that space where we're just doing new things, right? And I usually don't do that. So I'm like, hey, look, let me, let's, let's go for it, right? Queen of Wands, confidence, put yourself out there, right? Spread your wings, fly. So that's going to be exciting. I'm actually excited about it. I'm, I'm very excited about it. So that's that. But I'm being guided to share in different ways. And that I'm excited about because honestly, I feel like it's going to be more helpful. So let's get into um, a message for today. All right. We're going to start with these and then we'll end with some energy oracle. Okay. All right. So we have a victory. Wow. I love this because it came out on Monday. Things are happening. Right now, your energy, you want to feel like you're winning. You want to feel like, okay, I'm exactly where I need to be. Everything is happening exactly how it's supposed to. Even if in the 3D, it doesn't feel like it. You're being celebrated. You're being congratulated. Okay, you are being recognized. There are rewards coming. In the 3D, this will show up as rewards. You're going to feel like you're getting some kind of... Um, recognition or some kind of confirmation that you're on the right path, right? It's going to come in as like, oh, wow, I'm winning. Or, wow, this actually came to fruition, which means something's happening. So I'm getting a win. Some of you might look at it as a small win, right? Okay. Uh, you know, you wanted something more, but you got at least a piece of it. And I feel like these little Tidbits are going to start happening to tell you, hey, look, you're on the right track. Don't give up. Just be lighthearted. Have fun with it. Play with it. Right? Stop being so hard on yourself. Stop feeling like there's so much you have to do. At this point right now, you're on the right track and that's all that matters. So just trust. Okay? And that's where they want you because that allows even more and even more and even more and even more. So... Wow, action on your part is necessary. You, this, for me, when I see the page of wands, because this is another frequent, it's saying you don't have to be like doing like a gazillion things. All you have to do is say, I'm ready for it. I'm open to it. I'm no longer fighting, right? The page of wands is impulsive, though. He, he just goes for it. He doesn't think about it. This is the risk taker. And um, sometimes this energy can land you on your butt. And that, sometimes when you fall on your butt, that hurts, right? But um, at least you're saying, hey, I'm open to landing on my butt. And if I land on my butt, then like, you know, it's not the end of me, right? It might cause a little bit of embarrassment, but at least I went for it. And it's not the end of me, but this is telling the universe, hey, look, I'm going. I'm going, like I'm going, let's clarify it. I'm going for it, man. Like seriously, page of wands, anything else? Okay, we have the King of Cups. Wow, Whew. yo. 
and the King of Swords. You know, these two energies, this is like mixing oil with water. Because it's like, ooh, how do we make sense of these two? Because this one is all thought, all rationality. Okay, this one is the mind. This one is all emotion, feelings. Like I'm doing it because it feels right. I'm doing it because it just makes sense on paper, right? So they usually not the same. Blending these, blending these. So this is that balance of the masculine. This is the masculine energy starting to really compromise with itself. Okay, in this, I'm not talking about male, female. I'm talking about your energy. This is like not feeling like you need to protect yourself so much and not feeling like everything needs to make sense before you do it, but that middle. So yeah, this requires you to compromise with yourself. And that's when you can take the action. That's when you're ready for the initiation, right? When I see this, I feel like you're being initiated into something new, but you got to balance your emotions and your mental your emotions and your thoughts. That's when you win. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Some of you, this shows up in the 3D as you having to make a choice to do something that, hey, look, it makes sense to do it. I've been doing it this way and it's safe. And then there's another option where it's like, oh, this one feels right. This is where my heart tells me to go. This is what I know truly deep down inside will change things for me to where I'm winning. But is it practical? Right? Is it sustainable? Because I feel it, though. I feel it. But it just doesn't make sense. That's why. That's where some of you are. And when you get to that point where you're like, I'm trusting, I'm ready, I'm open. I'm ready for whatever. You're ready for the initiation into the new life that you really want deep down, okay? Wow. Action, you're ready for action. You go from page to night. Y'all see all these wands, right? Y'all see all these wands, six of wands, page of wands, nine of wands. This is like being, feeling inspired, feeling enthusiastic, feeling motivated, driven. This is the will, the willpower, you know, feeling inspired. Okay, you're going to call some kind of energy to you. When you're working through this, you call an energy to you that's going to make you feel inspired to do something. And a lot of times this kind of energy comes through like either some kind of achievement, some kind of win, like you will attract a person into your life. And that person just makes your heart flutter, right? It gives you something to be grateful for. You're going to attract something to be grateful for when you are ready for the initiation into whatever this is you're calling it. Because once you, something shows up in your 3D, life that just makes you feel grateful just know you're in the initiation process and it comes through for a lot of you it's coming through a form of a person it just excites you at a heart space because we're working through the heart king of cups the emotions you feel it feel it this one thinks he knows right by itself it's like i know i know i know this is a person who doesn't want to even consider other options it's not even open to other information it's like no what i know i know like what you're saying i'm not even i'm not even considering it i'm not interested this can keep you it's gonna restrict you here this is like it's final i'm not even considering something else and this is what we're breaking out of Okay, so let's keep going. Okay, 
Yes. So this is how you get things on track. This is when you attract things to you that's in alignment, will of fortune. So this is when things start turning and you feel like things are on track again, right? This is like that. Within you, you're like, you know what? I just feel like everything is okay. It may not have, I may not have the result that I've been looking for yet, but for some reason, I feel like something's coming, right? Fortune. Fortune is coming. That's what's coming. It's the will of fortune. Once you allow things to roll and flow, you call in your fortune, guys. So this is destiny happening. Like things that are destined to take place in your life, it's happening, right? It's happening. Things that are meant for you, they come in. Yes, yeah, so for some of you, a person comes in. A person comes in. It requires you to allow it. Go with the flow. I'm winning. Where I am, I don't necessarily agree with it, right? Because that's your 3D self telling you, hey, look, this is bad. What's happening in your life is not good. That's That's your lower self. Get that part of you in check. Tell it to sit down. It's not you. It's been the you. It's been the person you've agreed to be. It's a personality. It's the avatar, right? That's your default mode. Like this is what you're used to. That's a part of the illusion. And it's all good because that part of you is necessary. Okay. We can consider that the shadow side and the shadow side is really what helps you with balance. So it's not bad. It's just when it overtakes you and you don't know that it's doing that, it's, it's not within your best interest when it comes to your soul's evolution. So knowing that that part of you still exists and it's a part of the growth because you will fluctuate from that side of you to the higher side of you, okay? Knowing that when things are happening and then something tells you, no, 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 go back, go back, go back, go back. You need to protect yourself. Knowing that that's just the side of you that you're used to being is, is trying to keep you in a certain routine. The higher self is trying to get you out of that routine that has blocked you from so many, so many fortunes. So destiny is coming in for you. What's destined to happen for you is happening. So this is like divine intervention because you're allowing it. You're no longer an extremist on anything. You're allowing both sides of you to have a conversation and merge and say, hey, we're, we're helping one another. Neither side of me is bad. However, the higher self is taking control. So the lower self, when the ego comes in, the side of you that makes tries to make you believe all the things you've done in the past have kept you winning. All the things that you've been taught to believe is what you need to hold on to. That's what's going to win. You're sitting it down and you're saying, hey, look, have a seat. Time out. Time out. I'm going... I'm going with the flow. I'm allowing the will to turn here. Okay. So let's see here. Overall, we have, wow. Yeah. You're birthing a new life. This is another constant right now. You're creating that life of abundance. This is the abundance card. There is an aspect here of giving love. So just know you have to be in the space where you're loving. You're sending out love. You're open, you're receptive. This is, this is a receptive energy. So if someone comes to you in a nice way, checking on you, see how you're doing, or if someone is trying to give you a gift, right? You, you're open to receiving it, like, oh, thank you. And a lot of times when we're working on like self-worth, because this is also about self-worth, when a person pays you a compliment, or, you know, it's trying to give you something. You'll be like, oh, no, thank you. It's okay. Thank you. But no, it's like saying, okay, universe, I'm not ready to receive what you're giving me. And it comes in subtle ways. It comes in subtle ways. It's like, hey, oh my gosh, that dress looks so nice on you. 
oh, oh my goodness, no, this is just this old thing. Like, okay, you're not ready to receive yet. So, or like, oh, really? You think this is nice? Mm, I don't know. And then you go back and you're like, yeah, they were just trying to flatter me. Like, they're being, they're actually being um, a little bit like degrading. Like they think they're just trying to be my friend or just trying to be nice because they want to be in my business. Like y'all understanding, like, let's just say it is true that the person is doing that. If that's irrelevant, like receive the compliment. That just lets the universe know you're ready to receive. So it has a lot to do with self-worth because when these kind of things come to us, hey, look, let me help you out here. Um, you've been doing all of this. Let me take it off here. No, I can do it. I can do it. I don't need your help. That's a way of saying, I, you know, you're not ready yet. You're not ready. You don't see it as just a gift coming to you. So it does require you to be open to receiving. That's a part of the abundance. It's like, oh, now I realize, yeah, I can use some help. I do need some time to relax. Look at her. There's pillows behind her, right? And she's usually with child. The empress is about to give birth. So a lot of you, when this stuff starts coming in, universe is preparing you to rest. It wants you to rest. You've been doing a lot. You've been giving a lot. And when a person, when you conceive, you're not going to be allowed to lift heavy things, right? You, they're going to tell you, have a seat. Like, I got it. And you'll be like, no, 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 I, I could do it. Like, I'm not helpless, but no, 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 have a seat. This is how we do that energy exchange. You have given so much, it's time for you to rest. So for the next nine months, rest, please. Because you're about to give birth to something. So it's time for you to receive. Let people help you. This is a part of showing. Did you know your worth? Oh, yeah, I am. I do deserve some love. I've been given all this love. I do deserve some help. Thank you for that compliment. Right? I am abundant. Okay. That's how you create that life of abundance. Allow, allow. Okay, you've been giving so much. Let yourself receive. Yes, receive. Wow, it's coming in the form of actual money for some of you. The balance here, right? The balance. It's time for you to get the gifts of the universe coming to you. Wow, I love this. We got two sixes here. Six of wands, six of pentacles. Yes, receive. Mm -mm. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I was, as I'm looking at these two, I'm like, okay, some of y'all, this is coming through a person. So you're calling someone to you that will recognize who you are. Now just look, they're facing each other. Okay. So a lot of times this kind of connection will serve as a mirror. They will reflect to you what you believe about yourself or what you see in yourself. And if you haven't really seen your worth yet, you won't see this energy for what it is. You will think it's something else. Be mindful of that. If you see your worth, someone's going to come in and see it instantly. They're going to want to give to you. They, they're not going to be able to help it. Like... It's going to be something like, oh my gosh, this, this is what I've been dreaming of. Like they're going to put you on a pedestal. They're going to want to show love to you. They're going to want to give you things, buy things for you, gift you. This is like the universe telling you, yes, you're winning. This is the universe giving to you. Sometimes people are looking for like physical things. Like, no, I want actual things. No, sometimes it comes in the form of energy through another person. And they're going to mirror to you what you see about yourself. So receive it. Some of you may think it's one person, but it's another. We got two kings here. 
Some of you may believe it's gonna come from a particular person, but it's another. You may be on one extreme, but it's another person. Allow yourself to receive and it's gonna come in in a way that's best for you, okay? It's gonna come in fast and passionately. Knight of Wands here, and it's gonna be exactly right. This is divine intervention. Allow yourself to receive, okay? Wow, 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 reunion of souls, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm seeing just a really good time enjoying life. I see you going out going to functions, meeting new people, connecting. There's a connecting here, socializing here. There's like a reunion. This is happening in different ways. It doesn't have to be only romance. This could be happening like in your work, in your career. It may be a part of your purpose, right? What you're called here to do, you're gonna meet someone As you come together with this person, y'all like work together. Other things unravel. This is like magic. Because I'm feeling like a magical experience for some of you. Be lighthearted. Be open. Be Have fun, guys. Have fun. Seriously, have fun. There's something brewing. There's something happening. Behind the scenes, you have no idea what it is. And it's none of your business. Just know in the end, you win. Some of you, there's going to be some kind of major recognition. I see people like really congratulating you, recognizing you in a way you feel grand here. Okay? A lot of you, this is exposure. You're going to be seen here. You're, you're going to be seen Okay, Seven of Cups is here. It's like, ooh, we got to bring this up because this is the delay for some people because they don't realize this is a part of all of this. Yeah, I'm not going to know what to do. I don't know what she's talking about. I don't know how it's going to come in. Okay, good. You're exactly where you need to be. This does bring confusion because the old you, the old you has control issues and the old you thinks that it needs to know. Yeah. King of Swords, the old you feels like there's always, there's it always has to make sense. So if it doesn't make sense, no. Okay, just be aware of this, okay? Confusion comes along with this. It's a part of the template. Okay, you're not going to know. And then not only that, there's going to be options. Okay, with this, trust is required. You have to be able to trust. There is no end result because there's multiple options. Like you choose. It's trust within yourself. And as you choose, just know whatever choice you make is an alignment. There is no wrong choice because you're going to always go with what's best for you at a soul level. And what that means is whatever you're ready for is what you're going to choose. So if you want to take like a high, high route, yet you end up taking a choice that's not that, that means you weren't ready for the high, high route, right? Or if you have been taking the low, low route, right? And then whatever choice you take is the high one, just know you were ready for that. Your soul said no more. I'm going for it. And you're going to choose that. So trust it. And for some of you, it's between people. Others, it has a lot to do with like some kind of divine purpose here. But just know whatever is happening, it's going to show you how much you value yourself, your self-worth. And what you feel at a heart space, you deserve. Because it's going to lead to some type of abundance. It's almost like those who are led to this message, there's some kind of abundance waiting for you. There's some kind of life you're about to create for yourself here. Okay, so let's get some um, energy oracle for Wednesday, August the 10th here. 
All righty, healer of the ages. Oh no, actually, magician and the mirror. Yes, oh my God. And that's what I was feeling. Magic happening. You're creating magic. Oh, yes, because you're able to see that this reflection, this reflection that's coming through something else, another energy. It's a reason to celebrate. You're starting to see who you are. You, you're starting to create magic. You're allowing yourself to experience things that's best for you. So for me, just look at how he has the elements in his hand or his hands, right? There's like air and fire. Oh my God, this is um, going with the flow. This is allowing the elements to do what they're supposed to do without you trying to um, restrict them and limit them through filtered belief systems, right? This is like, no, fire can't do that. Fire is only able, you don't know what fire could do. You don't know what fire could do, so let it do what it's supposed to do. It's like, no, air, uh, air can't do this and that. And you don't know what it can do. Like, let air be what it is. Allow the elements to work in your favor. Like, come into my life and show me, show me what I'm working with. Like, show me what I deserve and do your thing. I'm open, right? That's when you become the magician, yes. And that's when you receive, yes. Okay. Uh, that went back. Woman holding the heart, yes. So, allow yourself to work from a heart space. This has been coming out, it came out Monday. Like your heart chakra. This is being open. Um, love is coming in for some of you. Some of you, this is love. Door to spirit, you walk through that door. Wow, you're connecting with your higher self. Wow, 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 wow. You're allowing your higher self to lead you. Oh my gosh, goosebumps. A lot of you went through that portal on the lion's gate, the lion's gate portal on the eighth. You're in there. So change is happening. Okay, yeah, a lot of you are attracting somebody to you. <laughs> we got the man and the woman holding the heart. Oh, you know what's so interesting? We had the thinking man. And the thinking woman on Monday. Now we have the man holding the heart and the woman holding the heart. This is two people who are at the same level of growth and allowing. That's what you attract. You're going to attract a vibrational match. It's like two people energetically aligning and meeting. I love the confirmations. Yes, you, the door to spirit. You you saw the door and you walked through. Okay. Yeah, even though you were confused. You said, I'm just going for it. Okay, so a lot of you, you're here. So welcome. Welcome. You're in a whole new experience. Be ready. Okay, be ready. Second chakra, Archangel Ariel. So this is about the desires. This is controlling those animalistic natures. This is that carnal nature that we all have. This, yes, the shadow side, you send it down and say, hey, look, I'm in control, right? So this is um, sacral chakra work, okay? You might want to look into some crystals that can help you with balancing the sacral chakra. So nice. This is nice. Okay, this is nice. I like this for you all. Um, I'm just getting really good energy. Love is in the air, a lot of you. There's people coming in, and when they come in, they may not fit your, like, what your avatar, what your personality says is right for you. So just know that. The, the, this person may not be what you expect it to be. There's a need to be open and allowing yourself to just experience, okay? Be open. Be open, be open, be open. I actually want to leave it there. Let's let's uh, see if any of these come out. I 
just feel like, okay, we got one card, toil and labor. See, okay, yes. If you feel like there's so much you need to do, no. Like some of you are working hard for something. Like I need to fight for this. I need to put in a lot of work. No, at this time, at this point, we allow yourself to receive. Be in that space where you're letting things happen and you're just going with the flow. Toil and labor. If you feel like you got to get up and do this and I got it. No, no, no. Trust what you're already doing is working. You know, if you're doing those affirmations, if you're sitting outside and you're journaling and you it's just, I feel like whatever it is that you're doing now, it's going to feel light. It doesn't feel like a lot of work. So if it's just um, affirmation, meditating, praying, journaling, creating, right? We have the empress at the bottom, just painting, music, listening to music, singing, you know, writing poems. It's really, you want to be in your creative energy right now, making new things maybe with your hands. You're building something. You're creating. It just feels like, it feels like, so you should not be in toil and labor. No. Okay, anything else? Marriage. Wow, some of y'all are about to, yeah, you're calling in a marriage. Some of y'all are going to be married soon. Ooh. Some of y'all, yes, and some of you are about to, this has been coming out. <laughs> You're about to give birth soon. Okay, be ready. If you... I feel like this is actually in a lot of people's timeline right now because you've called it in. You've called in your creative energy, so you're going to be very fertile right now. I mean, especially when we are allowing, we're creating. So just know that. When you're in a space of allowing, you're creating. So you may be creating a baby soon. Some of you, you're calling in. Yes, this could be a birth announcement. People celebrating. Good news. And two people open. Oh, yeah. Some of you, you're about to conceive. Be aware of this. And marriage. Okay, so that's today's message. I'm leaving it there. Everything that's happening, it's on track. Trust that. Okay, so I'm going to um, get off of this thing because sometimes I like to keep going because y'all know I like to talk. So, all right. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all on Friday.